Reports of a gun on campus at an Anne Arundel County High School had letters being sent home to parents today and even local police responded. Yeah, WMAR 2 News Dave Dentling's on this. Uh, he spoke with the dad about what really happened at Crofton High School last week. Dave's live as you can see. Dave, tell us what happened. Hey there, well, like you said, there was this investigation. I spoke to the dad, Nikia Pete. He says no point in time was there ever a gun in his vehicle. He says he read the letter sent out to parents as well as that media release. He says it does not detail what he experienced in that high school parking lot. Nothing was in the case. However, it was a gun case. Over the phone, Nakia Pete, a father of a Crofton High School student, said he wanted to set the record straight about what happened last Monday on school grounds. He says after dropping off his son around 630, there was a run in with a student driver in the student designated parking lot. As I'm going around, you know, I'm looking to kind of, you know, gesture, hey, sorry, you know. And she has both of her hands in the air cussing me out. The incident was reviewed on school surveillance video, including Pete moving a box from his trunk to the passenger seat. After a week-long investigation, school officials, including a school resource officer, concluded there was a gun in the box. However, the gun was never seen, according to Anne Arundel County Police. This letter was sent to parents, leaving many with questions and concerns. It would be helpful to know what kind of sparked this because it seems like there had to be something that happened before in order for it to get to this point. Of course, any parent would be very scared and uh, would want to know exactly what happened and whether there was any threat to their student or any other students at the school. Those questions were not addressed in the letter. As for the box and his alleged gun, Pete says he's a responsible parent who knows better. I had an empty box, nothing in the glove compartment, nothing in the car. Why the need to move that box right on school grounds? You know what? I call it a mistake, a brain fart, but it was one of them things without thinking my storage is actually not far from the school. And I think it was one of them, let me not forget to take this case out the trunk and put it in storage. And again, that gun was never seen on surveillance video. The school resource officer pushing for the charges. We want to point out Nakia Pete was not arrested. However, he was given a summons to appear in court. He says he is getting a lawyer. Reporting live tonight, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.